Okay, for this today, I'm doing a corn meat, a silver side. So if you can see here, it's about a kilo and a half for about $15. Unbelievable. I'll need a couple onions, some butter, and a touch of salt. And we're gonna wrap it up in our foil and cook it in there, cook it in the oven. So I've just put the oven on, it's uh, 175 degrees. So I'm just gonna chop them in about, I don't know what you'd call this, about four mil, maybe, I don't know, quarter inch. But, uh, so I just chop them up like this. That's a good start. Get this other one. I'm not gonna use all of this other one. So, I'll leave the skin on. I'll just take this roughly off, all this looser stuff, and I'll chop it like this. That's maybe enough. Okay, oops. So hopefully that's enough uh, onion. But let's get cracking. And you love these black, black bench tops. They just make an absolute mess. So now we'll get the alcohol. What do I do? Just get out enough. You need, you really want to do a couple wraps with this. So we'll go one way and then go the other way. I like to get a touch of, touch of butter. Couple of little strips like this. Okay. Just a slight rub for now. Okay, get me onion. Now I'm just gonna place it down in the center on top of these. Little one in the middle. Now I've got the core meat out. I'm gonna place this top side down like that on top of the onions. I've given this a wash because sometimes it's too salty in here and normally I add salt, but I won't add salt to the to that side, I'll add salt to this other side. So I'll do much the same. Just chuck an onion here or there, it doesn't really matter. This one's an odd shape. Normally I've got a flat top and then like a flat bottom. Whack it all in. I'm gonna squish it up anyway, so it doesn't doesn't matter that it's a little bit funny like that. Okay. I'll first wrap this up and over like that. Second wrap. And back over the top. Then come down up and in. Let's pull the bottom up first. Okay. 
place that on the side. And now I just simply roll. Yes, it's a lot of alcohol, I don't really care. Now I know that's the top because it was a flat side. So first up, I'll cook this with this to the top so that butter can come down over all this onion and over the meat and then come down on the sides. Okay, so I'm waiting on my preheated oven. Oh no, I'll give you a look at this when it uh, comes out. Tonight with me corn meat, I've got some nice big mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. What I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to put a bit of bacon in them, paint them with butter, put a bit of bacon in them, and then I'm going to top them with cheese, and that's how I'm going to eat them. So, straight up, I'll get rid of this stem. Gives me more room for filling. And yeah, I might grab this oh nice one here. This will be the other one. Okay. If you want, a lot of people peel the body, peel the skins off. Oh, I, I don't really care if they're on or off. Um, they're still going in my neck the same way. I'll try two for now, see how that goes. Okay, so I just cut them right down into th thin strips. You can sort of cut these how you like. Um, there's a million ways to do these stuffed mushrooms. That's how I like to do it. And then turn it just nice and thin. Buster, go lay down. You can hear my old dog coughing. It's nice and thin. <coughs> Rough enough, doesn't have to be perfect. Rough enough. So. That's going to go into the mushrooms. I'll wrap these up in a second. So I'm going to I'm going to paint them with a bit of melted butter. I've got a bit of pizza cheese, and I've got this three cheeses here. So I think I like this one. So I'm just going to melt some butter in a cup. Doesn't need much. So I'll put that on the microwave for a couple seconds. So this is melted down just nicely. I don't know if you can see. I don't have any top cameras. I've only got this little tiny thing. And being at the new house, I don't have half the half the stuff that I'm using. It's definitely not pretty. But it's only a container to hold the mushrooms in. So, this is my paintbrush to paint them with. That's all I've got in this house. Okie dokie. So, just gonna get them. Nice rub all over. It's not sticky, but it's nice. Oh, I hope they're both going to fit in this now. Just dab some into the into the top here. I can sit down there. Same as this one, give it a 
give it a dab. I'm always going to do the garlic butter, but I'm not now. I've got too much normal butter. So here you have it. There's our mushrooms buttered up. You put any spices on these that you want. I'm just, I'm just using bacon and cheese. Basic and plain. Uh, you can add. You can add so many more things to it. Make sure it's right to these edges. Okay, wash my hands. Oop, and wipe them on my shirt. God damn it. Sorry, Jake. Okay, now from here, just layer your cheese on. Okay, nothing fancy, nothing flash. Oh, it's as flash as you want to make them. <clears throat> but as you can see right here, that's my product right before they go into the oven. These will actually go on, these will go on once the corn meat's finished because I don't really want them at that high temperature. Being such a big mushroom, I want to slowly cook them through. And then when they're cooked through, then I'll really hit them with the heat and it'll brown the bottom a bit and brown all this nice cheese. So I'll show you once this is done. This is my final product. This is what I'm, my dinner. You can see that meat and that beautiful gravy, no, oh, gravy, onion. And no, I don't have a white sauce. I was too, too bloody lazy as usual. There's the mushroom over the back, potato and some carrot. So that's just what I had in the fridge. I haven't been shopping this week, so <clears throat> yeah, just getting rid of all my old stuff before I buy any new stuff. But um, yeah, no, uh, thoroughly enjoy it. Um, give it a crack, it's something different. If you cut your onions too big, they don't break down and get gelatinous and nice. Uh, yeah, so and also just the water from the actual, <clears throat> the juice from the actual corn meat cooks it too, and it is nice and salty. It's a little bit salty and just a hint of butter, like that you can't really taste it. But yeah, anyway, I'll, my mouth's watering too much. I've got to uh, get on and crack on while it's hot and eat it. Awesome, thank you.